What is going on internet? Sean here in Mahalo.com and today I'd like to talk to you about your motherboard because we're simplifying it and in this step looks like we'd like to learn a little bit more about the SATA connection on our motherboard so let's check it out. Now the SATA connection on this motherboard is simply right here and we have six of these guys and right here we have a SATA cable and if I want to connect my hard drive I'll just simply click this guy in and these guys have like an L shape on them, so they really only fit in one way. And when connecting your SATA cable, your device, to your motherboard, you want to start at the lowest number and then go up from there. So let's take a look at what we have. And we have SATA 1. Look at that. Plug it in. And then right here, plug it in. And boop. There we go. And as well as that, we also need to plug in the power here. But now SATA is kind of the newer technology way to get information from your drives, from your devices, to your computer. Because SATA 3 offers some pretty high speeds. Now, I wouldn't necessarily use IDE because it's just like a slower connection. Although if I had an older IDE device, I'd use that. But here on this motherboard, we just have those six connections right there. All right, now remember, just click on one of the items on the motherboard to learn more information about that item. And like always guys, if you have a request from me, just send it on over to requests at mahalo.com.